All right, I'm back. Later tonight, a couple hours after the last scene, the battery ran out on the camera, and I had to go fix dinner anyways, and uh, then I had to run a couple errands. So I should have time tonight to, to uh, finish this wing. What I've done at this point is uh, laid the fiberglass out on the mylars, fabric, the uh, carbon, and um, was ready to go. The Kevlar is on the wing. That's probably what you missed me do. Uh, I didn't notice the battery had died. <clears throat> and uh, this part of the process can take, you know, might take me a half hour to do this, and I'm not sure there's enough tape or enough memory on that card for the camera. So, if it stops, I apologize. But once you mix epoxy, you're done. So I use a roller. And I put the epoxy on a plate. I use West Systems uh, 105 epoxy with um, the slow set hardener. It has about a 30 minute life or 30 minute pot life has a lot longer than that once it gets thin you know once it gets spread out on the on the glass okay now it's just wetting out the epoxy and wetting out all the fabrics Try to spread it as evenly as possible. And make sure you got everything wet. <clears throat> Once the fiberglass gets wet, you can kind of you can see through it. It becomes more transparent, and you can tell what you're doing. You can tell where everything is. This uh, um, second one doesn't want to lay down. I think it's because <clears throat> it's one continuous sheet, and the first one's already laid down. So I'm going to pre-cut in between here. <clears throat> so it has some place to go. If you need to stretch or move with the fabric a little bit, you do it at a 45 because that's how you pull. Otherwise, it. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention that. The skins, the, these fiberglass skins are cut on a 45 degree angle on a bias. So the fibers are running this way and this way, not this way and this way. You do that because you want the wing to be, tor uh, to be strong and twisting on the skins <clears throat> and that gives you the best resistance to that you might want to put one of the layers nine you know running this way maybe maybe two of the layers this way and one of the layers this way 
I don't because the roll that I make my wings out of, the roll of um, fiberglass that I use for my wings, I've got cut on bias already and I don't want to have to keep losing that 45 degree cut if I had you know, if I did that. So I just bias all of them. The wings turn out pretty good. <clears throat> Take this carbon. It's starting to fret. Uh, no, it's starting, it's starting to come apart a little bit. And it goes just back from the trailing edge. About, about like that, right there. Same thing on the bottom. You want these, when they get on the wing, to lay pretty much right on top of each other. About right like that. Hope we don't run out of time here. Just in case that we do, I'll go ahead and wet out the core. <clears throat> what you have to do on the core is you roll out this leading edge carbon. You know, it doesn't, you know, it does, this wouldn't have to be carbon on the leading edge. It could be fiberglass. Uh, on, you know, on some models, on hand launches, it's uh, oftentimes Kevlar. Um, I like the carbon because it adds a little strength and it's very dent resistant. You know, if you're to crash, if you hit into something on the leading edge, it won't smash your leading edge. I'm going to wet out the hinge material, Kevlar. So if we miss anything, <coughs> all I'm doing is wetting out carbon. Yep, ran out of ran out of tape, didn't I? Uh, anyway, just got them all cut out, pulled the the uh, extra glass off. And I need to work a little quick now. Bottom skin, bottom the wing. I set it over it, get it really pretty close where it needs to go. You want the mylars at the leading edge to fold over and touch each other, or you know, as close as we can, anyways, to touching each other. And the mylars are long on the trailing edge, so you, or we'll trim it off when we pull it out of the mold.
Okay. Where's my... I like to wipe extra epoxy on my pants. Okay, then we tape the mylars together in a few spots. Keep them from moving around when we slide them into the bag. Okay, we get this epoxy, the extra epoxy out of the way. We're gonna throw it away anyways. <coughs> okay. Here's the top bed. We'll use that in a second. Here's the bottom bed. I'll move the camera back in just a second so you can see what we're gonna be doing here. Uh, what I gotta do. Here's a release film and breather. It's uh, just thin plastic with paper towels um, attached to the outside with Super 77. I'm put this in here, like this, fold it over, ready to go. And we're going to go in the vacuum bag. Over here. Alright, I hope we can see this. What I'm doing, I'm not opening in, in the way. <coughs> okay, there's the wind. Here's the vacuum bag. Make sure I get top and bottom right. Man, I've done that before. Mix up the top and, and bottom, and the wing comes out with <coughs> a real funny airfoil. Okay, I like to slide the wing up to the end of the bag. These quick connects are nice. Okay, you can see a vacuum connection is sitting on the paper towel. I really don't have to have another. Well, I do. I put usually put usually put one paper towel in, or part of the paper towel, to tie top and I've already closed it up, haven't I? That's what happens when you get in a hurry? So the paper towel allows for air to escape for the vacuum. So now I've tied top and bottom together. It's tied together all the way around anyways. It should pull a good even vacuum. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put it in the bottom bed. My feel to feel where the bed is. That's pretty good right there. Now we're going to pull a vacuum. Here we go. Get 
pulling down, I make sure that it lays down in the bed. Get the right airflow. And make sure the bleeding edge and everything sucks in nice. Yeah, back and shut it up. You can see it really pulling down. Nice. sure that we're in the bed everywhere and we're in the right spots in the bed. That's pretty good right there. Really no wrinkles in the bag. The wing is sucked together. Now we put the top bed on. <coughs> Just like that. I take a straight edge. table's flat. So then we'll put a little weight on it. That's usually good enough. That's all there